Ever wondered what's the difference between a wet and dry cappuccino? Today, we're diving into the world of this beloved coffee drink to clear up any confusion. You see, the distinction between wet and dry cappuccino isn't about the coffee itself, but rather the milk and foam. It's a subtle difference that can significantly alter your coffee experience. So, whether you're a seasoned barista or an amateur coffee enthusiast, understanding these terms can take your coffee game to the next level. Dive into the world of wet cappuccinos first. The wet cappuccino, a delightful concoction that leans towards a creamier, less robust taste. Its name, wet, is a nod to its higher milk content. The secret to its creamy goodness is the generous proportion of steamed milk, which softens the punch of the espresso shot. This results in a milder, smoother experience, a perfect balance for those who prefer their coffee on the less intense side. If you enjoy a creamier and lighter coffee, the wet cappuccino is your go-to. Now let's explore the dry cappuccino. A bold choice for the coffee connoisseur, the dry cappuccino is characterized by a larger proportion of foam. This frothy companion to your espresso shot makes for a stronger, more robust taste. The term dry here isn't about your coffee being arid. Rather, it signifies the reduced presence of milk and the dominance of espresso and froth. So if you're the kind who enjoys a stronger coffee hit, then the dry cappuccino is certainly the way to go. So, wet or dry, it's all about your personal preference. To recap, a wet cappuccino has more steamed milk, giving it a creamier, smoother taste, while a dry cappuccino has more froth, making it stronger and bolder. It's the perfect example of how coffee is an individual experience, tailored to your personal taste. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Check out the links in the description for our recommended coffee products. Stay tuned for more coffee talks.